Hey friends, welcome back to another windy day here on Valheim. So we're at my uh, original little tiny hut here. We're working on our uh, A-frame house uh, down over here. But today what we're going to do is uh, we're going to head back out to that cave, to that dungeon that we hit up the first time. Now I found using my axe actually works really well um, against um, everything, just as an attack period. Uh, I'm going to make myself a new torch here. This one's actually... Uh, Almost completely put out. There we go. We'll equip that torch. Awesome. Okay, so I'm going to go for a little bit of a run here. It's right over here. Uh, we're going to go for it, guys. I really want to build myself some forges and stuff. That way we can get um, our, our next generation, I guess, of tools and stuff on the way while we build our uh, semi-permanent house. Of course, once I get the stone and stuff too, I'm going to want to upgrade that and uh, build something much larger, much better, and uh, much more elaborate. And here we are back into the uh, the burial chambers here. So we're going to take out uh, this. Now I think, actually, oh damn. Okay, I gotta head out and actually uh, make some rocks. I think, I think we can make um, a campfire here. Um, inside the dungeon. I don't think we actually need a workbench to actually place a, a campfire down. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead here and uh, find a rock to pound on. Wow, there's one right over there. Okay, now nah, you don't. So um, I can actually place a campfire down inside of there and uh, use that for my rested buff here in a, in a few minutes. Oh, can I go in there with that actually selected? Oh, I can too. That's crazy. Okay, so we're going to put that down there. Nice. Now there's a nice little campfire kind of uh, kicking around for us here. And uh, we can see a heck of a lot better. I've also got some fire arrows too uh, equipped uh, just in case. So let's go ahead and uh, see in here. Holy crap. That campfire is uh, filling this area up with smoke quite quickly. Okay. There we go. So all I gotta do pretty much is just uh, keep this dude away from me. There we go. Uh, so I guess I could uh, destroy the campfire. And then uh, put it down in new areas. I'm clearing it out. I think that would actually be a pretty good tactic. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, see if there's any more of these guys kicking around in here. Uh, we got a door. Oh, look at this. There's a door right here. I didn't even uh, notice that last time. Oh, these places have doors? I know that's blowing my mind. You guys are like, it's just a door, dude. Uh, but that's actually pretty cool. Okay, so there's nothing in here. Nothing at all. Let's, uh, let's keep moving here. I grab some of these mushrooms. I assume maybe you can eat these and uh, uh, they might be helpful. Do we have... I think there's a soldier dude. Yeah. Oh, yeah. There is right there. <laughs> okay. Can he? Can he get out of there like that? No, I don't think he can. He might be able to hit us though. Holy crap! No, he hit the door. <laughs> Stupid door. Here we go. I get it, dude. I hit doors too, man. I, I only like them when I find them in dungeons, though. Okay, we got nothing in there. So I assume maybe there's like treasure on shelves and stuff in these places. Maybe that's, uh, maybe that's a thing. Yeah, it looks like a dead end over here. Okay, let's take a, a look at my inventory too. These uh, yellow mushrooms, an energetic glowing mushroom. Uh, healing. Oh, it does some healing. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, eat some of that. Oh, wow, that's... That's on top of the other mushrooms? Oh, cool. Okay, can I eat another um, another mushroom then? You are full already. Okay. Okay, holy crap. Look at that health that added. We're just kind of mixing up, I guess, uh, the type of food, food stuff we have. Uh, those m yellow mushrooms are sick. Okay, so this is the original room in here. So I went down, I searched that way. I'm definitely going to be grabbing all of these up. 100% uh, worth my time. And uh, we'll work our way down this way. Hopefully I don't die from uh, uh, carbon monoxide poisoning from that fire in there.
Okay, we got another room that leads to... What is this right here? That's just a stone, I think. So there's a door over there. And nothing over there. Okay, so I'm looking for... Um, oh, I forget exactly what the thing is named. Uh, but you need it in order to make a forge. So as soon as we find a couple of those, uh, we'll be laughing. We can make a forge. We can make uh, a smelter. Cool beans. This place is actually a lot emptier than I... Uh, and I thought it was. Okay, so we've reached a dead end again here. So I'm going to double back and uh, we'll look in another direction. Whoa, there's a ghost in here. There's a ghost and it looks like there's some things on the wall over there. Whew. Okay, so... Uh, damn, where's our campfire now? It's got to be back over this way. Here we go, we're resting. Okay, so I'm within uh, I'm within the fire here, I think. Is it off in this room right here? <laughs> oh no, this is going to get real easy to get lost in here. Ah, there we go, there's our campfire. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and actually uh, destroy this thing. We'll grab the supplies. And uh, rebuild it down that hallway. Oh crap! It's here? Well, we have no choice now. Holy. Whoa. That thing is tough as heck. Okay, uh. Oof, we're gonna get out of here for a second. Now, can I hit that thing with fire here? Wow, that was intense. That thing is strong. Okay, so, uh, let's see what happens with, uh, with the fire arrows here. This thing might kill us, it might be the death of us. Wow, this thing is so hard to see, too. Oh, yeah, there we go. Arrows do a good job to it, especially these uh, these fire ones. Oh, sick. Ghosts can't do anything to me from here. And it burns, too. There we go. We'll let that take it out. Oh, nice. Okay. Well, that's how we deal with ghosts. Did it leave anything behind? Uh, apparently not, but... Let's go back and uh, see what it left. I do believe it was this way. Okay, so we have this room in here. What is going on? We have some red stuff over here. This is spooky as hell. Whoa, what's making all the noise? <laughs> That's creepy. Certainly core! Yay! These are actually what we need. Sweet! Now we can make smelter. We can make a kiln. Oh, yeah! Okay. Uh, there is uh, two rubies right here. We have uh, some remains. We'll actually grab those bone fragments and uh, we'll give this a read here. Oh, here's the next boss! There's the next boss right over there, guys. Or another boss. Oh, cool. Well, that was definitely worth a run. Uh, so I guess that was the uh, the end boss here. So we got we got what we need. That was so incredibly easy. I could have done that actually. I think uh, a while ago. Okay, let's uh, let's get to my new base here, and uh, start the smelter and everything. This is awesome. We'll have to come back because we definitely didn't end it. So uh, let's go for a run. I'm pretty excited about this. Okay, here we are at my uh, A-frame. So we haven't done much here. We actually uh, need to make a uh, fire pit. I've uh, designed this little area over here to do that. And uh, I need to collect myself some more wood too. I haven't done that since the last episode. But now we can actually take a look at building um, our uh, other stuff here. We can build portals. Holy crap, look at that. We can build wards. Uh, emits a magic seal on the nearby surroundings that prevents other players from constructing buildings or opening doors. Okay, we really don't need that because it's just single player. If someone's breaking in, then I got hacked hardcore. So for crafting, we need a charcoal kin. Oh. Ooh. These things take five cores each. I was... Maybe I should have looked at the recipes before running out of there so quickly. Uh, let's take a look again. Five and five. So we're going to need ten in total to, to actually make that stuff. And we only got three, guys. We only got three. Wow. Shame on me. <laughs> uh, that is so bad. 
so since I don't actually have uh, my bed or anything over here, what we're going to do... Oops, I'm going to control click that in. Uh, what we're going to do is run back to my uh, old base here, sleep through the night, and then uh, we'll uh, we'll head back out and um, <laughs> go back to that dungeon in the morning here. I got all excited. I thought that's all we ever needed. I was wrong. Oh, oh, I almost got him. Damn it. Damn it. Come here, dear. Come here. Oh, and the other thing I need to do is go and get the, uh, the running buff. Uh... Uh, from the the first deer guy that we beat. I never got that buff. I keep forgetting about it. That deer is like just gone All right, I'm gonna head up here. I think first. Oh, no, we'll, we'll go here in the morning Then we'll head up here, and then I'll run down to the cave. I think that sounds like a good plan Okay, here we go guys activate power your ability to run and jump is improved jump stamina usage minus 60 run stamina usage minus 60 <laughs> Wow That has been a very very long time coming so uh, I've also come to the realization that uh, You don't starve so that you only really need to eat when you need to go out and fight so that you can buff up your health Right, so when I'm uh, just at home building up my base and stuff I don't need to worry about my food stuff, which is actually kind of nice. That's uh, an interesting uh, little change in this game uh, Loving this game so far by the way uh, map location already added. Okay, cool. Uh, so let's go ahead and uh, work our way then uh, down to the uh, down to the caves. <laughs> okay, and uh, we are back at the cave. Let's go ahead and uh, enter uh, these burial chambers. So we're gonna press F. Yeah, and there we go. And that's uh, for five minutes for us here. So. Uh, we should be uh, at least uh, decently okay here. Let's go ahead and uh, get properly equipped again. Okay, you know what we need to do? Put the shield away. There we go. Then we can take out the torch and the pickaxe. <laughs> wow. Okay, so let's go uh, this way this time and uh, see if we can't find any more of those epic rooms. Uh, we need seven more of those damn things. Okay, so we got some skellies up here. Let's go ahead and uh, just beat down on them here, like they're beating down on us. Oh, that was a uh, that was a starred skelly too. Okay. Well, he wasn't that tough. Uh, is there a ghost over there? Is that what I see? Oh, damn! There might be another ghost over there, guys. Uh, so what I'm gonna do then? Run back over this way, run back over this way, and then run right here. Uh, I'm gonna build another. Uh, I'm gonna build another fire here. I, I think that'll be a uh, most wise idea. So we're gonna get all of this crafting mask fire, bang. Okay, Whew. that's gonna help out a little bit. There we go. Torch. We're gonna have to make another torch on the side here too, because this one's. Uh, just about to run out, but let's go ahead and uh, see what's up here. Okay, so I definitely made something angry. There's a skelly. Here we go. These guys are really slow, actually. They're not uh, too hard to beat up at all. Uh, those star ones, though, they look like they're uh, a little tougher. What is this? Oh, there's a pile of bones or something over here. Maybe... Maybe that's what the skeletons are actually uh, spawning from. Okay, so if you see a pile of bones, um, I assume uh, maybe take it out. Might get some treasure from that too. Oh, oh no, that's that's creepy. I don't like that at all. Let's get that back out. There we go. Whew. Do not like that. Okay, I believe it was this way we came in here. And it looks like there's another room off to the side here. Oh, damn. I'm going to get lost in these catacombs. Oh, look at this. There's one just sitting there all by itself in the corner. Okay, so maybe we don't have to beat epic things uh, to find every single one we need. So that's six more. Got a door in here. Holy crap, these dungeon instances are actually a lot bigger. 
Ah, uh, than I thought they would be. I don't feel rested anymore, damn it. Oh, ouch. Ooh, okay, I think I spent more time hitting the wall than anything else there. That was uh, not safe and uh, not a good idea. Let's get some foodstuffs in us here. There we go. <laughs> that was insane. Okay, so I think there's another guy. Sounds like there might be another guy. Wow, there's more rooms over that way. Oh my god, I spent hours, I think, wandering around this place. I've completely lost my campfire. There's no hope for the campfire anymore. Uh, I might have enough to build another one. Whoa, did I find my campfire again? Whoa, crazy. Okay, apparently uh, I just found my campfire again. <laughs> Went around in a giant circle. Uh, this place is wild. Okay, I'm gonna go. Uh, we're gonna try this again. There's got to be more back this way. Well, that's actually it for that side. That's all that was over there. So we're gonna go uh, give that other side a check here. Our um, our ability has unfortunately worn off, which kind of sucks. Uh, but it is what it is. Okay, let's go this way here. I don't think we really. Whoa, a little bit of lag. Uh, I don't think we really went this way last time. I don't even know. Let's. Oh, yeah, we did. Yeah, we did. That's where we found the super ghost room in there. Okay, so we found the ghost in there, and then there's this one door over this way that we hadn't checked out. And it leads just to a yellow mushroom. Oh, wow. Is that it for this place? Like, can these things actually respawn, or are these things a uh, one-shot go? Oh no, we might not have enough to build uh, our forges here. I was really hoping to get a move on with that, but uh, we really got nothing here. Damn. Okay, yeah, so really no luck in this one. This one's actually, it is small. That's that's what I had thought. These things wouldn't be uh, very, very large. It just, uh, it felt big when I was up in here. Uh, <laughs> anyway, I'm going to go ahead and uh, we're going to take this campfire with me and I guess we've uh, we've conquered this one. Uh, so what we would need to do then is actually find ourselves another cave instance. Or maybe they reset every few days. I, I don't even know. <laughs> that sucks. Uh, but there is some unexplored uh, part of this island here. So, I mean... I may as well just kind of keep moving through. We found some copper over here. Apparently, there is some copper where we fought the, um, the large trolls. But we can keep going through this area and see if we, uh, we can't find any more of these cave things. After some research here, I have actually found out that those uh, those places, they, 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 they don't reset. So we have only have four of these uh, cores so far. So we need to find uh, some more of those. Hey, look at that. We got some skeleton trophies too. That's kind of cool. Uh, so what we're going to do here is uh, concentrate then on uh, starting to get a little more set up back at uh, base. I'm going to put a bed down down there. We're going to get uh, everything together. And uh, I may take out some more logs and we may build uh, some more framage here. Actually, we need to get a fire going in there. So uh, what I'm going to do, my inventory still has some weight in it here. So I, I'm going to uh, I'm going to grab some logs on my way down and uh, bring them back with us. May as well make use of our journeys. Okay, so I wanted to get uh, some fires going on in here. So what I'm going to do is uh, destroy these two floors. And uh, we're actually going to recess our uh, our campfires here a little bit. I think that'll uh, uh, that'll look good. Are they both kind of at the same level? Uh, they might be a little off, but uh, I think we might be able to work with that. Let's take out the support here, actually. There we go. My inventory is uh, chock full, damn it. Uh, what if uh, I raise the ground or uh, flatten the ground right here? Okay, there we go. That seemed to work. That flattened the ground up nice and high for us. Okay. Uh, so now we can uh, probably place these campfires here. I kind of want to place them perfectly with these two meter blocks right here. Because uh, that is going to be the outside. Then we'll make the chimney, I think, going uh, directly out. We'll, uh, we'll face the roof or something in the, 
in uh, unique direction. Okay, I gotta get myself some stone here and uh, get rid of some of this junk in my inventory. Here we go, and other fire placed. Okay, uh, I can deal with that. And they're, they're not the exact same height, but uh, I think we can uh, uh, we can work with that here. So let's go to building. Uh, I think what I'm gonna try is uh, sticking some wood beams um, up in here. There we go. Maybe uh, right along these edges. Oh. Yeah, I like how that looks. I really like how the beams and stuff snap into each other in this game. It uh, it allows for uh, a little bit of uh, creativity. There we go. Okay, now I want to uh, mess around with the thatch roof too. So uh, see how the smoke's just rising straight out? Uh, what I think we might be able to do is maybe put a roof on an angle here. Uh, oh, it's got to be a little higher. Okay, I'm going to work the, the frame up a little bit here, I think. Uh, we'll use the uh, correct orientation there we go and we'll stick it maybe I want it to snap uh, right here there we go okay we'll get it snap there and we'll get the other one snap right there okay I think I can work with that you know I don't even think we needed this support right here I think what we can do oh there we go look at that just like that on the sides Ooh, that actually turned out uh, very, very nice. So I'm going to do the same thing here. We're going to take out that vertical support, and take out that, and then I'm going to replace it with uh, with the wood there. There we go. So now we got uh, some stuff running along the sides. Ooh, I really, really like that. So what I what I would like to do, maybe let's try the uh, the 26 degree um, angle thatch roof here. Oh, there we go. That actually leaves us with um, a little bit of space. Can we do something like that, and then? Take our thatch roof and uh, fill it in up here. Oh, okay. Can I uh, can I even get up there? That is a question. Let's get inside the bill here and see if it's even uh, filling up with smoke. Okay, so that seemed to have uh, taken care of the smoke, and I honestly really really like the way that looks. That's actually kind of. Worked out really, really nice. Did those line up perfectly with the other ones? Let's uh, put that away. Yeah, look at that. We have a little bit of a thatch roof in here. Can we still? We can still use the fire. Uh, we can fuel it. Dang. Okay. So now we have uh, we have an actual fire inside. Now my other question is, can we, <laughs> can we build the uh, the things in order to cook here? Uh, let's go see the uh, cooking station. Okay. Uh, will these fit inside here? Okay, that'll fit inside. That'll fit inside, so uh, let's get out of there. And I'm I might, oh, I can. I can still use a cooking station, and I can fuel the fires. Oh, that's sick. I like how that turned out. And uh, you know what? I think I'm gonna build um, like a little bit of a deck back here off of the off of this, uh, so that we can cook outside when it's uh, when it's nice out. Okay, here we go. So what I've done for this is uh, just simply uh, brought this up. I actually lined this up to the edge of the build and uh, had the edges come out a little bit. I actually really, uh, really like how that looks. I like how that turned out. Uh, so right here, we're going to uh, put ourselves in uh, some wooden ladders. Let's see if we can't get them to clip. Okay, maybe those are a little too tall. Uh, we'll try uh, maybe wood stairs. Oh, there we go, right there, and uh, wow, the wood stairs are actually uh, a little too wide. Oh no, well, that's not going to work out the way I thought it would. Uh, okay, so what we can do then is try the wood ladders again. Oh, there we go. There we go. Just like that, maybe? So uh, let's stick that third one in by looking at the side. Okay, and it clips through that one a little bit, and clips through that one a little bit, and I can deal uh, with that. So let's take a look at that. There we go. <laughs> I like that. So we have a little bit of a deck up here. We can come and uh, we can cook. Uh, now, the other thing I want to do, of course, is uh, maybe build ourselves a, a little bit of a roof up this way. Because uh, I don't really have to worry about the smoke, right? This is going to be uh, this is going to be open air in the end. Uh, so this was a, a 26 degree uh, roof. So we're going to go. Uh, should we continue the 26? I'm going to try a few things here, guys. Uh, 
Okay, so I came up with this funky design here, and it seems that it's actually worked and uh, supported the roof. Oh my god, it's getting nighttime here. I'm having uh, way too much fun building. Uh, but I built these supports up. I built these uh, little cross members going across. And then uh, they still didn't line up to the roof, so I built these uh, these beams, and it seems uh, that it's... Uh, oh, wait. Oh, no. Those are orange again. <laughs> Damn it. Okay, so there's got to be a way that I can support this. Okay, so I think I got it here. I threw in a support right here, so I'm going to go ahead and take these uh, funky-looking beams out there. There we go. And uh, you know what? I might just take this whole assembly of the uh, the front too, but uh, the next thing I should really concentrate on is actually making a bed and uh, sleeping through this night cycle. All right, so it's morning time here, and I'm taking a look. There's uh, these fence pieces as well. I kind of want to see uh, what these look like. Do they Do they snap to the blocks correctly? Hmm. Uh, kind of. Maybe. <laughs> they look like they're actually a little bit off. Is it because of the direction we're facing? Hmm, weird. Now, I bet these would actually uh, kind of work in Windows if we if we can use them properly. I might have to, uh, I might have to try that at some point. Okay. Well, uh, I think this is looking uh, pretty damn good. We just got to finish off uh, our supports here. So let's whip this out. We're going to go uh, verticals and uh, do some supports over this way. Here we are. Uh, just to make them match. You got you to have your stuff all matching, right? There we go. So I thought instead of do us doing the flat old boring beam across, we might be able to snap these together. And uh, make it look half decent. There we go. Yeah, I actually, uh, I really like how that turned out. Holy crap, that's a ton of smoke. But it is pouring out of there. Uh, now I wonder, because of this roof right here. Hmm. What if, if I take this out, it's going to leave this exposed right here. And then uh, just leave a little bit of this. I'm going to take a look at the build menu. Okay, so I changed it up here just a little bit, and honestly, I I, I kind of think that works. There we go. Uh, so it comes out there, goes up to these uh, these a little bit of a vented rooftop, and comes out there. Looks like it comes out a little bit out the front, maybe, but um, that looks a lot better. And uh, does it keep my head above? Yeah, look at that. I can use it here and uh, not get uh, choked out. So I think that looks pretty damn cool, leaving uh, a little bit of uh, style here. There's not much to like the building in this game. Uh, so I guess we're going to have to be uh, very, very creative in uh, making our own style. Looks like there's some wood up there too that's wasted. Uh, but anyway, there we go. Look at that. So we got a balcony out here. I wasn't planning on building that, but it just happened. Uh, and all of our smoke is going outside of our building. Look at that, we got a double campfire going on. I think that looks uh, pretty damn swanky. Alright guys, uh, I think I'm going to call this one an episode here. We'll come back and uh, I'm addicted to the building now. So uh, we're going to continue building. We're going to uh, try to get a raft together soon. So that actually I think our next objective is to get a raft together. That way I know uh, exactly how to build uh, the other part of this base here. If we have to go deeper or whatever with the water. Uh, but we'll get it all figured out here in uh, due time. Anyway guys, as usual, stay classy. Always back up them game saves, and I'll see you in the next episode. Have a good one. No matter what you people say, I'm gonna do my thing my way. No matter what you people do, I'm gonna do my thing much better than you. No matter what you say or do, oh boy, you're out of luck. It's gonna roll right off of me like water off the back of a duck And I go Yeah, I go Yeah, 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 I go And I go Good boy.